Pearls and Polish podcast. My name is Rachel and I'm coming to you from just outside Sacramento, California. The day has finally come. I have talked about this for months and it is finally here. Um, it is time to set up my knitting planner for 2024. So let me talk about the planner first and then we'll go to the flat lay and you can see me set it up. Um, I am using a common planner by sterling ink um and this is their a5 compact planner what does all that mean okay so sterling ink is the company who um, put the planner together it's a woman-owned minority-owned business out of canada and what makes this planner um different or special than like a planner you would get at like target or staples or whatever is um this is using Tomoe River paper. Uh, if you're familiar with Japanese planners, um, this is the same paper that you would use in a Hobonichi planner. Um, all that means is that the paper is super thin, um, almost like Bible thin. So this is 52 grams, I think it's grams per meter, GSM. It's thin paper, so it is kind of see-through. However, it does allow you to have a lot of pages in a very small book. Um, so A5 refers to the page size. So this is about half of an eight and a half by 11. So if you had this one and you had another one on top, it's about an eight and a half by 11. Um, and then the compact. So this is a 12 year, 12 year. This is a 12 month planner. So I have, um, a kind of year at a glance. I don't know how well this is gonna pull up because the, the print is kind of um, light. And then it has all of my monthly pages. So I have like the monthly calendar for December of 2023 all the way through, I think January of 2025. Um, so I have all the monthly, calendars all in the front and then it goes to a weekly spread so it's two pages let me get that a little closer and it has the whole week uh, so it starts on a monday and it goes all the way through and the only thing that makes this a compact is that there are less note pages in the back than the full version um so we're gonna stop talking we're gonna go to the flat light so you'll be able to see how I'm setting this up, what I'm tracking, and um, how I'm anticipating using this for 2024 to track my knits. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're gonna start off with some stickers because who doesn't love stickers? Um, these are all things that I kind of feel represent me as a person in this point in time. Um, so love coffee, love knitting, love books, love being from California, even though it's a little cold right now. I uh, love fancy pens, so I'm going to put some of these down. All the businesses where I got these stickers from will be in the description below. Uh, the Japanese have a phrase called techokaigi, which is like your planner for the year. So I feel like that's what this video is. Um, this is kind of how I plan on planning my knits for 2024. So first off, we're going to start my stash graph. Um, I have... A goal for 2024 that I think I'm actually going to be able to reach. Um, I want to finish the year with less skeins than what I started the year with. So every month I'm going to track how many skeins came in and how many skeins went out or that I used in my projects. Um, and hopefully that number is going to be lower than what I started with at the beginning of the year. Um, setting goals and achieving goals is really hard for me because I set really big goals and then get disappointed when I don't fulfill them. So hopefully this will be a better year. Um, this two page spread is originally for goal setting, but like I said, not really my thing. So I'm using it to swatch all of my mild liners and those are highlighters, um, that are not as fluorescent and there are lots of really fun colors so I want to make sure I know exactly how many colors I have what colors kind of go together um, and be able to use more than just the same three colors that I typically go to because I always use them 
I am missing one though. So we're going to set up the monthly spread. This is a set by Coffee Monsters Co. And uh, their theme for the year is birth flowers. So every month has a different birth flower. So January's is the snowdrop. Um, struggling with some stickers and my perfectionism, but finally got it sorted out. Um, I like some stickers on my pages. I don't like too many stickers. Um, so I will, this is just going to be kind of the bare bones. Um, and then I'll add things as I need to, but I'm hoping to use, or I'm planning to use rather the monthly spread as a way to track what I'm actually working on in the month. So, um, this is a way for me to see how much time I'm spending on certain projects. Um, instead of like just guessing or just having arbitrary dates, I'll actually be able to physically see where my time is going. So um, I'm really excited for that. This is also going to be kind of the catch-all as far as skeins coming in, skeins going out, um, what I'm watching or reading or listening to for the month, um, anything else I decide to track or write down, it's all going to go here. Um, so I'm excited to kind of have a catch-all space or like a month in review space to be able to um, look back and see exactly what I'm working on. And then I'm using the little flowers as my month representation on my stash graph. So, like I said, I'm tracking ins and outs of yarn, so I'm going to put a little sticker down with that information. But first, I didn't have any sort of marker for the month. I covered it up. Um, so I have these cute little month stickers that have the flowers on there. Um, so I need to find a space where that's going to go. I think that will be a great spot. Now I could put down my ins and outs. Um, hopefully that list is not going to be too long with stuff coming in and hopefully the list will be very long with stuff going out. So like I said, goals are hard for me. I'm going to try quarterly goals this year. So I'm going to stick it on this page. I'm going to put it a couple other places in the planner, but I have three quarterly goals. So in the months of January, February, and March, I'm hoping to accomplish three things. One, I want to work down the projects that I started in years past. I call these the forgotten projects. Um, next, I want to roll for new projects. So instead of doing a structured year of socks or project, um, I'm just going to roll dice and whatever number comes up, that's going to be what I cast on. And then I'm going to do Scrappy Sunday. Um, I've been looking forward to that for a while. So this is the weekly spread. So everything for the week goes here, which I'm really excited to have it all on the same page so I can see the whole week at once. We're going to put down some washi tape. Again, this is by the Coffee Monster Co. Um, I didn't order enough washi tape and you'll see me run out in a little bit. So I have ordered some more. So hopefully I will have a better handle on actually how much washi tape I need. I do have some other washi tape uh, but it doesn't really match the theme, so I need to figure that out. But like I said, this is going to be kind of where I write down what I'm working on for the week. Um, this is great for me when I have test knits or samples um, or things that have deadlines. If I'm doing like a knit along, this is for me to be able to see when things are due instead of kind of being surprised when time just kind of flies by. So again, not too many stickers. I'll probably add a couple more. I have some um, other little stickers, smiley faces and coffee cups and boba. And I think I have some animal stickers, some knitting stickers that are going to go in here. But this is just kind of the bare bones to the week. Uh, one of my other goals is reading the whole Bible in a year. I've tried it a couple times have not succeeded. So I'm hoping by having a weekly breakdown, I'll be able to achieve that a little easier. Again, we've got some quarterly goals. Um, and knowing me, I need to see them to be able to remember to do them. Also, you got a shot of my head. Oh, that was so hard not to lean that far forward to see what I was writing. Um, but I'm going to be putting these on the whole month of January. So I actually remember what am I 
working towards? What are my goals and how am I going to achieve those? So I know I mentioned rolling for di- for projects. Um, I wrote out all of my stash, which you'll see a little later in the video. And I have some really fun D&D dice. Again, there's my face. Um, so I'm going to be using those and whatever number comes up, that's what I'm going to cast on. You saw a flash of my scrappy Sunday stickers. Those were custom made for me by Mandy Lynn Plans. Um, so I asked her to write scrappy Sunday. She probably had no idea what it was. Um, but those are going to go on Sunday to remind me it's okay to work on something different on a weekend than it is during the week. Um, so I've got a big project planned for that, and I'm really excited to get that started in January. More washi tape. This is the point where I figured out I did not have enough washi tape for the whole month. Um, so I ordered some more as soon as I was done recording. Um, and so that should be coming in soon. Now, in the back of my planner, I did write my entire stash. Now, you'll see a lot of blank spaces. I kind of left those intentional for anything new coming in for 2024. Um, but this kind of gives me an idea of what I have. But that is it. This is my techokagi, my setup for my planner. And I can't wait to start knitting with you guys in January. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.